In dealing with family law, what are some common misconceptions that you encounter with your work? And how do you help these clients overcome these misconceptions? I think the biggest one is that mom always gets the kids. You know, I don't think that's necessarily true in most cases anymore. Really? At least in Massachusetts. Here, a lot of fathers have stepped up during the relationship. And there's a number of dads who are now the primary caretaker during the relationship, which you didn't have before. And it's one of the things that I would like to see change in our society as a whole. You know, and I understand it because if one person has a better job, the other person doesn't, you know, doesn't have as many career advancements, it makes financial sense for that person to be the one that runs the kids around that takes time off from work. Exactly. But yeah. if you want equality, when the relationship ends, put your work in while you're still together, you know, make sure that you're also, you know, as dad taking time off to take care of the kids if there's a snow day, you know, and I think that would change a lot throughout other jurisdictions. I do think Massachusetts has come a far way, mm -hmm. you know, depending on who you talk to, there's a lot of guys out there that would probably say something different, but <laughs> in my practice, that's what I've seen, you know, for the most part, if dad wants a substantial role in their child's life, even if it's not a full 50, 50, they get that opportunity. I have a friend that got a divorce and I guess his ex-wife made more money because he got primary custody and he got child support. And it was literally the first time I'd ever heard anything like that. I was mm -hmm. like, wait a minute, the man can get child support? Yeah. And I said, I don't know how you pulled that one off. So that's a misconception is that the woman always gets everything. And there's also a little bit of toxic masculinity that goes along with that.